Hey guys, uh, welcome once again to my uh, channel here. I appreciate you guys dropping by. Um, while you are here, uh, if you don't mind, uh, hitting that subscribe button. Got a small little channel here. I think at the time making this video, um, was approaching about 800 subscribers or something like that. But um, what I'm gonna be looking at today, I know it's probably been pounded in the ground over the last few weeks by other members of the XJ XJW community. But there was a video that came out a little while ago by a gentleman named Gary Bro. And the title of the video, I believe, was called uh, Protect Yourself from Mis Misinformation or something like that. I'll, I'll leave a link to this video in the description below so you can check it out in its entirety if you so wish. Uh, but what I was going to concentrate on today was a statement that was made by Gary at the very ending of this video. And was wanting to talk a little bit more about the implications of his statement and what that possibly could or, I mean, it may not mean anything in particular. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, let Gary, uh, speak here and I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Now in our day, there is another group of men that are sitting at one table, our governing body. They never lie or deceive us. We can have absolute trust in the governing body. They meet all the criteria that Jesus gave us to identify them by. We know exactly who Jesus is using to protect his people from the lies. We just must stay alert. So in review, how can we identify a lie? Look for the zero, any component in a statement or teaching that cancels out a Bible truth. How can we avoid being caught up in the cry of peace and security? Well, Jehovah has already promised peace and security and has clearly forewarned us that a false cry will soon be coming. And what table can we trust? The table surrounded by our future kings, the governing body. Uh, okay, so <laughs> what I was really wanting to look at is that very last statement he said that the uh, table that is surrounded by our future kings, the governing body. Um, that the fact that you can say I, I don't know that that's that I'm sorry that scrambles my brains just a little bit. Um, but anyway, I was wanting to think about that where he actually focused on the governing body and was saying that the governing body is the future kings of Jehovah's Witnesses. And there's an implication to this that I'm, I'm not sure what this means yet. But let's, let, let me just bring something up that, that is a little bit of what Jehovah's Witnesses believe, okay? And uh, I'm actually looking at an article here on JW.org, um, and the article is called uh, Who Go to Heaven? <clears throat> and uh, this is this article. It says, quote, God selects a limited number of faithful Christians who, after their death, will be resurrected in, to life in heaven. Uh, once they have been chosen, they must continue to maintain a Christian standard of faith and conduct in order not to be disqualified from their receiving their in heavenly in 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 inheritance. Again, I, that's a very, very low statement. It's like even if you are one of the 144,000 selected by God, then it's completely up to you. Otherwise, you can actually lose it. In other words, God must have got it wrong. But anyway, I'm, I'm being a little bit facetious there. But this is the next statement that it makes. In, in quote, they will serve alongside Jesus as kings and priests for a thousand years. Now, this article, and this is what you will see in Jehovah's Witness literature over and over and over again. And I, I encourage you guys to go on JW.org and search the 144,000, search anointed, search any things about people who are going to heaven and ruling and reigning. And you will see over and over again, it's these 144,000. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be doing a, a much more uh, detailed video on the 144,000 and uh, a lot of the history that's involved with Jehovah's Witnesses when it comes to the anointed, in particular, when it comes to uh, what they call the faithful and discreet slave and how this term faithful and discreet slave has been swapped over from uh, one group of people to another and which, in case now, the faithful and discreet slave is the governing body. But this is what's interesting is that in this video, Gary Bro just said that the future kings now is not the 144,000, but it is the governing body. 
So they've already taken the title of faithful and discreet slave away from the general 144,000. But are Jehovah's Witnesses in the process of now taking the title of kingship away from the 144,000? I mean, what's stopping the organization from now having new light and saying that the kings and priests that speak of has been members of the governing body since the first century Christians onward? And stripping that away from the rank and file, well, I say rank and file, but from the general 140, th those, those people who are in the Jehovah's Witness organization who consider themselves to be anointed. Because they've already pulled away the title of faithful and discreet slave. And people who are in an organization that are quote unquote anointed have to feel a little bit jaded about this. But what's going to happen when they take the title of king? That this future reign, that this quote-unquote 144,000, and I could easily go on a rabbit trail with that, that they take that away from them and they give it to the governing body, then what does it leave these people that are in the organization with at that point who are the very few year after year that actually partake of the emblems? I'm just, I'm not speaking prophetically. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's like, I got questions here and I'm sure you guys do too. That's why, that's why we're all here together. So is it possible that by the time we get to next year's Memorial of Christ's death, as they call it, that literally nobody in any kingdom hall will even partake at all whatsoever because they will no longer have this kingship. I mean, are they still going to heaven? Is it nobody but the governing body? I mean, there's huge implications of this that I don't think the organization, either the organization knows they know exactly what they're doing or they don't know what they're doing. They're just spitting out stupid stuff. Who knows? But anyway, tell me guys, uh, tell me what you guys think. This is a short video today. Um, like I said, the next one, I'd like to get into a little more detail about their history as far as uh, the anointed, uh, the faithful and discreet slave and stuff like that and how that is flip flop and change uh, over over the last century or so. But anyway, I uh, hope this video uh, uh, finds you guys doing well. Again, if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. And if you didn't like the video, then dislike the video. It's just good either way. But uh, y'all have a blessed day and I will, uh, I'll see you next one. See ya.